They called him a heretic, a madman who tried to make nothing equal everything. In 7th century India, when religion dictated reason and the stars were worshipped more than they were studied, Brahma Gupta dared to challenge the sacred order. He wasn't a priest. He wasn't a warrior. He was something far more dangerous, a thinker. Born in 598 CE in the desert lands of Rajasthan, he lived in a time when questioning the heavens could cost you your life. Yet he didn't just question them, he calculated them. When others saw eclipses as divine punishments, he saw patterns. When others prayed for answers, he wrote equations. While the world feared the void, Brahmagupta embraced it and gave it a name, Zero. To his critics, it was blasphemy. To Brahmagupta, it was revelation. Nothingness wasn't a curse, it was creation itself. From it, he built the mathematics of the infinite. He laid down the rules of arithmetic for negative numbers, for zero, for the very logic that would one day fuel every calculation behind rockets, algorithms, and artificial intelligence. But his genius came at a price. In a world that worships certainty, he dared to find beauty in the void. His ideas were ridiculed, buried under centuries of misunderstanding. Yet like the zero he discovered, his legacy never truly vanished. It became the silent foundation of everything. Brahmagupta didn't just invent zero, he proved that even nothing can define everything. This is Chronicles of Spirit.